Hi, Philip. Uh, nice to have you today on our show, uh, AdShares Meet the Expert. Um, thank you for joining us and making some time for us. Hey, Mike. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you for allowing us the time. It's nice to meet you and look forward to the chat. Yeah, we've done a lot of work together over the last few years, um, coming to our sites and helping us with the engineering problems, their walls, damp and so on. Um, and uh, yeah, you've helped us get out of some difficult claims. So thank you, Philip. Yeah. And it's, think no, it's thank you hard much. time that we uh, introduce you to our whole client base. OK, yeah, yeah. Philip, tell us um, you're an engineer. Uh, you specialize in buildings, uh, issues. You can be more technical on what you actually do. Um, but being an engineer, working with sectional title, you know, give us a bit of your background. Where did you study? Where did you come to do this? What made yes. you start your company, NABA? OK, so I'm a structural engineer, like you said, Mike. I studied at um, Stellenbosch University. So originally, I'm from Namibia, and then studied um, structural or civil engineering at Stellenbosch. And then I worked in the consulting industry for about four or five years for Oricon and then another company in Cape Town, where we did, you know, consulting in the sense that most people know it, where on new buildings, you know, from the design stage all the way up to the end of construction. So all the technical designs and drawings and all of that. So that's what I did originally. And then um, when I started working in Cape Town, I started you know, I had a peek into the sectional title industry and the existing building industry and realized that there is actually a need for some professional consulting services in that industry because it's a very, it's a big industry and people, you know, existing buildings have issues that's never been constructed 100% correctly the first time or just as time goes on, you know, there's technical issues there. But then people don't generally get professionals into a system with a problem because they maybe don't know that that service is there. So now we're trying to just get people to know that, you know, if you have an existing building and you have issues, you can use professional people to assist you. You don't have to try and solve the problem on your own because that creates even more problems if you don't do the right thing. So we then started moving into the sectional title industry. And what we do now is we give technical advice to clients with existing buildings. So we'll come to your building and we'll say, you know, this is a problem. This wall is a problem here, or that's a retaining wall. So there's no drainage behind it. You actually have to have drainage and this is the reason why, or, you know, that's the problem with your roofs and this is what you have to do to fix it. And then we take the clients from that point where we give them our technical advice of what they have to do all the way up to the end of the project. So then we've given them the scope, we've defined it as and what they have to do. And then I've got a quantity survey of quantity surveyors that work for me. And then we scope the project, get contractors in and then manage the whole thing to then at the end, come back to the client and say, look, this is our problem that we've identified at the beginning. This is the entire process we've done. This is the result. So you are now sorted out. And then we do that for clients when they have issues or insurance, when they have issues, so like we've helped you before, you know, we come in, we say this is a problem, then we get it sorted out through contractors, and then at the end we close that book to say problem sorted now. Yeah, excellent. Um, that's quite, that actually also answers my second question, which is going to be, you know, what can you offer my clients? So, yeah, so yeah. you've actually answered, answered it all in one, which is actually much better because it actually gives us time for me to give an example or for you to give us an example. So um, so where I've identified uh, services from you is um, I typically would, as an insurance broker, go to site and there's a wall that's too tall uh, or looks too thin. I'm not an engineer. I don't actually know the answer, but it doesn't. something doesn't look right from my experience. Yes. And then I would speak to the trustees or the wall is leaning or whatever the case might be. And then the trustees engage. I recommend you the trustees engage you to come and have a look and do a report and then if there's a problem still either report that it's actually fine or that something needs to be done um you know, take us through the cost of typically that sort of process what what would what would happen let's let's yeah. use a scenario a wall is leaning over um i've heard it, they've called me i've had a look i've said oh no this looks a bit problematic you need an engineer 
we get you, you come out and have a look and you take it from there. Um, okay. You run so through the, that. So that process, the process then would entail that we go obviously to the site to have a look at the problem area that you've identified. So you've you've been there, you see, okay, there's an issue here, but I want to understand this issue better. You know, how do we sort this out? So we then go to the site and we then, with our inspection, try to determine what's the cause of this problem or concern. So we have to go back to the design of this wall. So we say, okay, there's a wall there. Is it too high or is it maybe retaining too much or was it just constructed incorrect? You know, what's the problem here? So then we go back to the principles of we want back to the basics and say, let's assume this was a clear site. We want to build a wall here. So we have to now design it correctly for the intended purpose. So we go through that design process and then we tell you, this is why this wall is failing. Um, and this is what we have to do to rectify it. So we have a standard list of services of which that is one. So that typically is our structural engineering inspection and report. So we'll go out, we'll do that inspection and then we provide a report back to you to say that this is the issue with your wall and this is how you know we suggest you rectify it not the final design sometimes when it's a very big problem then you've got a next step after that inspection and report where you have to do an extensive design you know and drawings and all of that so that's then a separate cost but we've got a cost of 10,500 rand to come out do an inspection give identify the problem and tell you what must be done and roughly what the associated costs will be to get it done and then from there it either can be done because it's not that um you don't need to go through an entire design process it's just something that we can draw up a rough scope and you can go to contractors and get it done or if it then um, entails further involvement from us for like a extensive design drawings and then perhaps the project management of the project then we quote for that separately at the time Okay, fantastic. Okay, and then lastly, I think otherwise we can, as you know, Philip, you and I can chat all morning. Yeah. Um, just some ideas, some almost a list of services that would be applicable to bodies corporate. I can think of a few. So leanings, yeah. funny walls would be one. Um, uh, after a storm that there's a wash away of some area, they need an engineer to come and have a look would be another one in my mind. Yeah. Roof problems would be another one. Uh, after a claim, when a claim is rejected and they're saying that this is wear and tear, you've helped us. I think one of our clients saved about 150,000 Rand after your report. So they paid a little bit for your report, but they saved yeah. 10 times, 20 times the amount yeah. in a claim. You know, just give us a list quickly. So, no, definitely. So in the, in, I think if you look at from an insurance and risk point of view, you know, we can come, we'll come out to, let's say you see there's a lot of damp on your building and you don't know what's causing this, or there's a wall that's cracking. You want to understand why it's cracking or, you know, your roof is sagging and you want to see why is this roof sagging or why is there, you know, my ceiling maybe cracking or things like that. You know, you want to understand why things are happening. We come out and we then tell you, this is why it's happening. You know, so either it's a risk you have to sort it out or don't worry about it. It's not that big of a problem or, when there's a, um, a instance where something's happened now, you know, like a storm, um, there was a big storm and a wall collapsed and your insurance, like you say, maybe somebody comes out and says, no, you know, this is your fault and it wasn't built correctly or something like that. Then we can come out and say, no, but in fact, this was built correctly. It was built according to the standards and everything was fine. So the, it wasn't your fault that the wall collapsed. This was just some incident that was out of your control and you couldn't have done your work better to prevent this. So we can protect you in that sense and then try and get your claims to go through. But then also, if you look at it from just a general building point of view, you know, our focus is to come to people when they want to do a big project. So not necessarily when there's a massive issue that you have to sort out immediately, but if you know you want to do a big project and you're unsure of exactly what you have to do and how you have to implement this process, then we come to you and we say, okay, this is what you have to do. And we scope this project, get the, the, the prices in from contractors so you have comparable prices. And then we project, project manage that entire process for you from that point up, all the way up to the end. 
Um, I, and I will, I'll reiterate that. So um, we had an instance, and you'll know the building, I'm not going to name them here, um, where there was a hell of a claim and it was all sorted out. But the, the, the client actually needed to do a project to call it redecorate and re-waterproof yes. their whole building. I think I've used the correct terminology there. Um, and it was a project. Um, and at that stage, so a year ago, no insurance company, in fact, I was battling to keep it on cover of where yes. it was, uh, to almost like keep them updated with reports. But um, um, now, a year later, after NABA have managed a project, properly managed, with QS involvement, all properly costed and all properly designed, and you can see what has been done there, um, we are now able to get insurance from a multitude of companies. We've actually yeah. put uh, uh, insurance on the table for them. I actually even took one of the underwriting managers to site with me, and the remark was when I said, and this project was overseen by Philip Nell, Narba, and uh, Brian from, from Narba, and it was... <laughs> And I could see at that moment um, almost the biggest tick of all was 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 given because they were comfortable that uh, the project wasn't just managed by anybody. Yeah. Okay, so no, I, think, I think I think I think that I think that was um, one fine example. Uh, yeah. But Philip, what about um, uh, maintenance plans and that sort of thing? Yes. So just before I remember something now in the insurance industry, Mike, that also happens sometimes is that your insurance will issue a letter to say that if you don't rectify these items, you know, then we're going to cancel your policy. Correct. So That's where we've I done, it. yeah. So we've done a lot of those projects where we then come in and we say, okay, this is what they've identified. Let's scope this project for you. Let's manage it all the way up to completion. Then we invite the insurer back and then say, you know, look, this person has done all of these items. So we deem them now to be compliant and safe so you can continue the insurance. So we've done a number of those also. No, excellent. Yeah. And then, and then, and then lo lastly, maintenance plans, do you look at that at all? Yeah, so that's usually, that's the start of the process. So that's where we start the process to tell somebody, you know, and that's why we see a lot of value in these maintenance plans. We say, we, we come in, we do your maintenance plan for you, and then we assist you from there to actually implement the process, you know, actually implement the projects when they come up. So we give you that 10 year projection, and then we assist you in those 10 years to actually do the work and do it correctly. So yeah, we do those as well. And that's also part of our standard list of services with pricing that I'll share with you. No, fantastic. So I think yeah. um, in wrapping up, um, I'm going to, you know, here's Philip's details. And then, of course, uh, the list of services that they offer um, with a link. Maybe we can put your list of services up as a link uh, so that people yeah. can go there. Yeah. OK, so, Philip, thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mike. I appreciate it and thank you for the time. Mm -hmm.